To move your Final Cut Pro library to an external drive, first, navigate to the Finder menu in the top left of your desktop and select Preferences from the dropdown. In the window that appears, make sure the External Disks box is checked in the General tab. This will display the external drive on your desktop. Then, select the Sidebar tab and check the Movies box to display the Movies folder in the Finder window. Next, close out of the Finder Preferences window and open up Final Cut Pro. Once the application opens, navigate to the Final Cut Pro menu in the top left and select Preferences from the dropdown. In the new window, click on the Import tab and then make sure Copy to Library Storage Location is checked. If Leave Files in Place is checked, then some or all of your media may be stored outside the library and you probably want to transfer those files or folders in addition to the library. However, the default for Final Cut is to copy all media into the library, so you will likely not have an issue. Next, navigate to the File menu and select Library Properties from the dropdown. In the Library Properties Inspector, select the Modify Settings button to the right of Storage Locations. Then, verify that imported media is being stored in the library and not in another location. Once again, this is the default. Please note that changing any of these preferences will only apply to media imported in the future. We are looking in these locations to verify the settings, not change them. If you suspect that some of your media is not stored in your library, then you will need to manually transfer and relink the files. I've linked another video in the description to help should it be necessary. Finally, exit Final Cut Pro and click on the Finder icon in the dock to launch the Finder window. Select the Movies folder from the Finder sidebar on the left to reveal the content. Here you can see your Final Cut library. If you never named your library, it will likely be named Untitled, but the icon will be the same. Then, double-click on your external drive to show its contents. Then, click and drag the Final Cut library into the external drive window and wait for it to copy. If you have a lot of media, this could take a while. Once the copy is complete, you can drag the old library to the trash. I would not recommend emptying the trash until later. Next, double-click on the library in the external drive to launch Final Cut Pro. This will redirect Final Cut Pro to use this library instead of looking for the old one. Once the application opens, verify that all of your media and projects are intact. Then you can quit and empty the trash to free up space on your internal drive. Keep in mind, if you use Time Machine or another application to backup your computer, you will no longer have a current backup of your library. So that's it for most people. Your library is now stored on your external drive, and from now on, Final Cut Pro will read and write to that library instead of filling up your internal drive. Once again, if you had media stored outside of the library, you will need to transfer it separately. Please see the link in the description for a video showing you how to transfer media and relink the files. Also, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, and if you have any questions or ideas, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks.